What is up everybody? Radar here with some uh well, it's not even a gameplay commentary this time around. It's actually going to be a tutorial on how to get M1 Tank Platoon 2 working on Windows 10. So, first things first, how do you get yourself a copy of M1 Tank Platoon 2? It is no longer in the presses and there's quite a few ways. If you dig around, I'm sure you can probably find it on eBay maybe Amazon but there's no guarantees those discs are going to work but if you still have your original copy which I have a copy but the disc doesn't work anymore I didn't store it right um, then you would think you'd be able to find it digitally say through Steam or even better and more likely good old, uh, good old games unfortunately as far as I can tell, and I've searched all over the place, I could not find a place to purchase M1 Tank Platoon 2 online. So, next best thing is to Google it, and I ended up at Abandonware, uh, myabandonware.com. I'll put a link in the description below. And you will go here, and click on the download link, and I believe you need the ISO version, and download that. Um, from there, let me see here, yeah, so once you have that downloaded, um, you'll notice that it is not a proper ISO file, it's uh, NRG, which is uh, Power ISO Nero, whatever, like it's it's not an actual proper uh, file, uh, ISO file format, um, it's a more of a proprietary one that a uh, third-party software uses so you can't mount it via Windows native you know disk image mounting uh, so, uh, program so what you're gonna end up having to do is go to uh, this place here let me back up and I'll also add the link to the description below NRG to ISO dot com so you want to hit this up going to download from here there'll be a mirror always double check what you download off the internet guys like virus scans is always a good always a good idea if you don't have proper antivirus I strongly suggest you get it but I did scan this one and so far it's pulled clean um, with Bitdefender anyways all right so you're going to download this. It's a special program, really simple to use, and convert. Um, did I just freaking close that? All right, there it is. You're going to convert your uh, .nrg into a proper ISO format, and it's going to look something like this. So here's the old file. Here's the new file. So as you, you can see that. It lost some weight here so <laughs> yeah so once you have that done you're gonna go ahead and mount the ISO file this will pop up and I believe you will hit the setup.exe and you run that setup this will pop up as usual and you're gonna run that and you go through the setup process like normal and once you're through the setup process, um, you you want to go ahead, go to the install folder. So or I'm going to right click on here, open file location. And the first time you do it, it puts you into, I don't know why it installed this way, but this is just the shortcuts. So you're going to have to right click on the M1 Tank Platoon short, EXE shortcut. And... Oops, It'll, there we go. Open file location again, and you'll have these folders here. But this is not the time to click on the XE and start playing. It's not going to work. At least it never worked for me when I tried that. It, there were issues. Even running compatibility modes did not help me. I tried different, different, uh, many different setups to get that going. So do not click that yet. What you want to do next is uh, go to tanksims.com 
and you want to download M1 Tank Platoon uh, 2 uh, patch. Okay. And when you download the patch, you'll unzip it. You're going to be looking for this uh, file here. Um, and don't double click on it because it'll do, uh, it'll do this and that does not work the way you would want it to. So I suggest right clicking. Then you want to uh, open with FinRAR or 7-zip. And oh, yes, 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 close. And then you see all these here. See all these files here. Just select those, not the top one, just these here. And you want to drag and drop into your install directory uh, for M1 Tank Platoon 2. I'll ask to replace. You want to go ahead and do that. Check this box here if it's not checked. Do this for all current items and just have it overwrite everything. Still got 99%. There we go. Alright. So, now that we got it updated, you still can't touch that EXE because it's still not going to work properly. There is one more step. But once you get this set up, you don't have to worry about it too much. Actually, there's two more steps, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Alright, so, now that we got it updated, and override the old files with the new. You want to download DXWind. WND. Uh, of course, I'm going to throw links for all these tabs here into the description in order of, uh, you know, how to, you know, in order of the tutorial. Uh, and, and you're going to de click download. Uh, this here is, should automatically do it, but I have a script blocker because. It, the web is filled with malicious and horrible ads and scripts and so you can always just direct link if you need to but um, once that's downloaded you'll unzip it and it'll end up like a folder like this alright so when you have this folder you can unzip this wherever you want just be sure you know where it is and that all these files are in the same folder you're going to um, Double click on that. See, I already got it set up. So once I have it already set up, I can just double click on this and it'll run. Oh, actually, it will not run. Um, be sure that the disk is mounted or it will not run. So back on the earlier steps, make sure this is mounted, which it, it should be. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, so like you'll have to do that. I don't have a CD crack. I don't know where to find a CD crack, and basically it's you know, I mean we're already in a gray zone. Let's not make it grayer. All right, so you're gonna take the EXE, you can drag it and drop it onto this window, and then it'll give you all these cool little options so you can tweak the visual settings and all that stuff. We're gonna leave everything default for now, but you can make the window bigger if you want to. Okay. So, uh, you hit OK, you can try it and t test settings, but like now whenever I pull this up, it already knows where my EXE is installed at. And all I gotta do is make sure DX Wind is active, and I should be able to double click. And bada bing, bada boom. Now you're still gonna have black screens. Alright, I needed to turn off that music because it's super loud. Alright, so, now the game is, it, it'll work. This is the best way to do it. You can change settings, not necessarily in-game, though you can probably do something in-game. Uh, in the in-game settings, I would say you should stick to the uh, DX Wind uh, program for most of the settings if you want to change things up from this tiny window but keep in mind this is a 1998 game and this resolution is uh, kind of on the higher end back in that time now we have like 2k 4k 5k 6k you know it, it just goes up but there you go this game is now functional you can I already got a, a unit up I set this up in advance here
And, you know, see, we'll just go right in there. I wait, whatever the frick. And the pink screens are the videos. For some reason, the videos do not run. I don't know how to fix that. Um, don't really care to. It doesn't really affect overall. It doesn't affect the gameplay, so. As far as I can tell. They're kind of cool, but it is what it is. Alright. Um, let me just um, hit start and see if I can remember how to. There we go. And it's on you to remember the controls. I gotta relearn this game. Ah, uh, yes. But there we are. There we have it. It is now working. Just like the good old days. So that will be it for um, this little tutorial on how to get uh, M1 Tank Platoon working on Windows 10. You, this will probably work on Windows 7, but don't hold me to that. I only ran this through on Windows 10. So uh, please leave comments in the... Uh, the uh, for the video, uh, let me know if I missed some steps or if you ran into some issues. I'll try to double back in and see if I can help troubleshoot for some of you guys. Or if you can help somebody that ran into some issues, please like reply to them and give them a hand. Uh, that would help me out and help them out. And uh, thumbs up the video, subscribe, uh, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I'll get around to doing some gameplay commentary for Emily Tank Platoon. I was supposed to have this video up a couple days ago, but I've been way too busy. But yeah, I finally got around to it. This is going to be a real rough edit, so don't expect this to be the cleanest uh, edit video ever. And let's be honest, my editing skills suck. But yeah, uh, like the video, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more videos in the future.